Hello to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I am an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, light worker, and Reiki healer. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So ask your question, ask your angels and spirit guides which piles for you, and then intuitively select your pile. For those of you that are already good with your intuition, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five, pile number six, and pile number seven. You can go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description, and I'll see you in your reading. Now, for anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Asking your angels and spirit guides which pile holds the answer for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release. Now a number between one and seven or one of the crystals may just pop into your mind. If it does, select that pile. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five, pile number six, and pile number seven. All right, go ahead and select your pile and use the timestamps in the comments and description and I'll see you in your reading. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one with this Shungite. Your message from this crystal is to detox your life. So you know what needs to go. It's just a slight encouragement of, hey, get some of the toxic things that are in your life out. Now for your yes or your no, you start with the Queen of Cups and then the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. All right, let's look at clarification. Queen of Cups has the Seven of Swords. King of Swords is being clarified by the Queen of Wands. Ooh, and you got the Lovers. So some of you are asking about relationships, love, and the answer looks like a yes. There's going to be some challenges and tests in it because you've got this King of Swords here. And there might even be something sneaky in it because you've got this Seven of Swords here. But that being said, it's a beautiful new emotional beginning and you've got the lovers coming out. You've got the Queen of Wands, which is about stepping into your own power. And the Queen of Cups, which is about having the emotional intelligence to deal with the situation. So you got an, a yes, but there will... <coughs> excuse me oh good golly I've got allergies there will be challenges and tests with these with this king of swords right here but uh but no you're gonna step into your own power with the queen of wands so everything's gonna be all right and you did get a yes now you're being told to know your truth by the spirit guides and to understand your body. So when you see the understand your body card come out, there may be something that you're not paying attention to. This whole detox your life over here, it may be related to this understand your body card. Just if you're doing something that's not good for you, you only get this one vessel this one time. So take good care of your vessel. Make sure you feed it healthy food, drink lots of water, you know, take good care of your body. 
Now you're being told to know your truth and be strong by the angels. You're also being told to cooperate. So it seems like the angels are kind of working with you on this understand your body. Like some of you may still be drinking sodas. Some of you are just not taking care of yourself. You're not putting yourself first. And you need to cooperate with the angels to put yourself first because you are worth it. Now, from Moonology, you get what do you need to release? That's coming back to the Shungite. You need to detox that life. Confidence is your key to success with the lovers here. So, you have a brand new emotional beginning. Could be a soulmate relationship. You may be coming back to a soulmate that uh, you've been separated from. But confidence is your key to success with the lovers here. And finally, you get the void with this Queen of Wands. The void is where things start. It's the beginning. So this Queen of Wands is about stepping into your power. You're going to have challenges and tests when you do because that's human life. But step into the power of this Queen of Wands and you're going to get exactly what you asked Tarot for. All right, that's all I have for pile number one. Thank you so much for choosing me as your Tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number two with this lapetalite. You're being advised to recall your dreams, so some answers that you're looking for are in your dreams, so pay attention. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. You start with justice, so signifying balance. The emperor and the empress. Wow, you got all major arcana. This is definitely a yes. It's a very, very solid yes. Now, clarification, you get the ten of cups, so that's beautiful. The ace of wands and judgment. Okay, this is an absolute yes. You've got balance. You've got taking a leadership role in your life. You've got solid foundations, a happy home, possibly a new home move. So some of you are asking about if you're going to be moving in the next however long, and the answer is yes. Um, the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning, and Judgment, which is a second chance. So everything 100% positive, solid, solid yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Now, you get make each day count. Yeah, you only get this. Everybody says you only live once. That's not true. You live every single day. You only die once this incarnation. So make each day count. Make each day worth living for. Now, you also get your beliefs are right for you. So that's absolutely true. Don't force your beliefs on anyone else. Don't allow them to force their beliefs on you. Your beliefs are perfectly right for you. Your connection to spirit is perfectly right for you. So just, you know, hang tight to your beliefs. Now for the angels, you get be tolerant. So something in your life is requiring tolerance. And greet the dawn. So this can be advice to do a morning meditation. Meditations are fantastic for keeping you centered. Nobody really loves doing meditations. I mean, I guess there's probably someone. But most people are like, it's like brushing your teeth. You got to do it. So just some morning meditation maybe or um, possibly the advice to really make good use of your day. Make each day count. You know, be up with the dawn so you can embrace the whole day. Now, you're also being told to show the world the real you and to meditate and contemplate. That's what I was talking about, the meditation. Like, this is definitely saying you need to meditate, but you got a beautiful yes. So you're on the right path. You're going the right way. You just need some meditation to kind of clear things up inside your mind. And finally, you get the masculine out of Queen of the Moon. So you have the power to do whatever you want. You are completely and totally capable of bringing anything you want to fruition. So do some meditation. You got a yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Enjoy it. You know, you've got balance, you've got your own capabilities, you've got solid foundations and a second chance, you know, and a new home move for those of you asking about moving. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful. All right. That's all I have for pile number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. 
For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with this selenite. Your message from the selenite is to clear the clutter. So get rid of the clutter in your life so you have more room for wonderful new abundance to come in. Now, you start with the six of coins. So there's a gift and strength and the ten of wands. All right, let's look at clarification. Page of cups, faith. And nine of coins. Okay, you got a yes. There's going to be something overwhelming in your yes, but there's a gift as well. With strength, you've got the inner strength that's being clarified by faith. So this faith is really the hierophant in a standard tarot deck. It talks about religion. It talks about marriage. It talks about education and progress. You know, those foundational things. So you have the strength for whatever it is you've asked tarot about. Lots of you are asking about education, I feel, with this uh, with this pile, but uh, there is there is definitely a gift. This is financial stability. So while it is there's something overwhelming, you're going to be able to reward yourself with luxuries. For some of you, the rewarding yourself with luxuries is what's overwhelming for you, because you kind of are still struggling with a mindset of lack. You're like, okay, I've got money now. Let's save it. Let's hoard it. Let's hide it spend your money. That's what it's there for. You know, you, and I'm not saying be ridiculous and take your bank account down to nothing. That's not what I'm talking about at all. But I'm talking about rewarding yourself in this life because this life is the life that you're living. So take some of whatever you have, whatever this gift is, and reward yourself with some luxuries. Now, this page of cups is fun and socializing. So some of you asking about relationships, uh, not necessarily love relationships, but friendships, things like that. Um, and yes, the answer to whatever you ask tarot is yes. Now, you're being told to ask for guidance. So ask your angels, ask your spirit guides. And you're being told that patience is a virtue. So while you got a yes, that doesn't mean that the gift is coming as soon as the video is over. That means it's coming at the time of the universe. The universe is bringing it into you. So patience is a virtue. Now the angels say have hope. Absolutely, hope is beautiful. And let go. Yeah, don't worry. Just let go of everything. Know that the universe is bringing you what you need, what you want, what you desire, what you're manifesting. And let go of everything and just enjoy the ride. Now you're being told take some time to breathe out and hold that vision. So yes, what you're manifesting is coming to you. Take some time to breathe. Take some time to meditate. You know, really let go. That's part of manifesting is letting go of it after you do the manifestation. So really, truly let go. Take some time to breathe because whatever you're manifesting is coming into you. And finally, you get boundaries. You are just breaking through these boundaries like this little flower. You know, you are breaking through your boundaries that is the, that's the main meaning of the boundaries card. See how interested she is in this flower that has broken through her boundaries? You know, she's going to break through these boundaries any moment, just like you are going to break through your boundaries any moment. All right, that's all I have for pile number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four with this angel aura quartz. Your message from this crystal is to lighten up. So don't take yourself so seriously. Don't take the situation so seriously lighten up a little bit. All right. Now for your yes or your no, you start with stable financial foundations. Ooh, and the two of cups. So possibly meeting a soulmate and fighting, putting your energy where you will win. All right. This looks like a yes. You've got new financial beginnings coming in, solid, stable financial foundations. Ooh, and the magician. So you are able to manifest whatever you want. This is a solid, beautiful yes. Um, 
Yeah, stable financial foundations, meeting a soulmate, developing a soulmate relationship. So some of you asking about money, some of you asking about relationships, but the answer is yes, no matter what you asked. The magician here is talking about using all of your skills to manifest the life that you want. And this is talking about putting your energy somewhere and being successful. And you've got a brand new, beautiful financial beginning that leads you to a palace of coins, which is solid, stable financial foundations. Now let's look at your advice cards. You're being told to lead by example and that everyone has value. So when you see that everyone has value come out, you need to remember you have value too. So make sure you value yourself, value everyone in your life. You know, there everyone has value. Everyone contributes something. So make sure you keep that kind of mentality around you. Ooh, you got Archangel Michael. So protection, cord cutting, you know, just... Um, you know, dealing with past karmic issues. Archangel Michael is the leader of all the archangels. So him showing up at your reading just says you have his protection as you go through whatever it is you ask Tarot about. So thank you, Archangel Michael, for being here. Now you also, oh, and Archangel Jophiel. Archangel Jophiel is the Archangel of Love. So you've got multiple archangels coming out for your reading to tell you that everything's going to be okay. Everything's beautiful. This reading is so positive. You've, you're definitely getting what you asked for. So just know you've got the archangels on your side at your back, you know, really protecting and Archangel Jophiel is the archangel of joy. So there's going to be more joy in your life, which is fantastic. Now some adjustments are required with that new financial beginning and have faith in your dreams with the manifesting for the magician. And finally, you get the path. You are on the right path. You're just, see how she's, you know, standing there looking at the path? You're on the right path. You just have to continue to follow it. All right, and, and don't worry about the adjustments. Adjustments are required everywhere. We're human. You know, we're, we're actually spiritual beings having human experiences, but, uh, but adjustments are required because of the humanity aspect. So don't worry, know that everything's gonna work out beautifully, that you have the archangels with you and you got a wonderful yes. So lighten up, don't take yourself too seriously, lead by example and step into this beautiful, beautiful situation that you're manifesting. All right, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number five with this sodalite. Your message from this crystal is to speak your truth. So, yeah, speak the truth of your heart. It needs to happen. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. You start with the sun. That's beautiful. And then the page of wands. And the ten of swords. So, something's ending for your yes. But with this sun here, this is definitely a yes. Now, the sun gets the king of wands. So, people are going to follow you. Death, yeah, something is ending but you are at the beginning of a wonderful new journey with the fool. So something is definitely ending for whatever you asked tarot, but you've got the sun coming out. So that is a beautiful, beautiful yes. Um, yeah, you've got the king of wands saying people will follow you if you start creative projects right now. The page of wands, which is the card of the artist, the writer, the musician, you know, someone who makes something out of their heart and soul. Um, it can also talk about reunions, but, uh, but death means something is ending for the start of something new. So something is ending for you to step into this wonderful inspiration that you've got in the page of wands. Now the 10 of swords is an ending that is definitive and sometimes even shocking. So there is some ending coming for the beautiful yes that you asked for but know that it is going to start you on this wonderful journey of the fool, which, yeah, there is some level of, um, I guess, reckless abandon to the fool card, but it's also the beginning of a beautiful journey that you are going to do magnificently on. 
Now, let's take a look at what your spirit guides have to say about your yes. They're saying focus on the positive. So some of you getting bogged down in the negative, don't do that. Focus on the positive. Journey within, you know, really see what it is you want. Speak from the heart. So talk to your angels. Tell them what you want. Cherish the innocence inside you. Cherish the innocence of your inner child as you start this fool's journey. And really let your inner child out to breathe a little bit. Now, communication is key for your creative projects that you're starting. So just communicate, communicate with your angels, with those around you. And you are very close to achieving your goal. Like this fool, this start of whatever it is you want, you are very close to achieving this. So just continue down the path that you're on. And finally, you get pleasure. So something is ending, but there is pleasure coming in. You know, whatever's ending is not necessarily a good thing that's ending. It could be something that's, you know, troubling, like uh, challenges and tests that are ending because you've got pleasure coming in. You know, this is you using what makes your heart and soul sing in a productive way. And this is you experiencing pleasure. So you got a beautiful yes. Focus on the pleasure that's in the world all around you and know that you are stepping into the bright, brilliant sun card. All right, that is all I have for pile number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number six with this piece of amethyst. Your message from the amethyst is to trust your intuition. So whatever your intuition has been telling you, you need to trust it. Now let's take a look. You get the knight of swords, the five of cups, and the three of coins. All right, this looks like a no. The knight of swords represents challenges and tests. The Five of Cups can represent sorrow and loneliness, but it also gives you the advice to look at what you still have as opposed to what you lost. And then the Three of Coins talks about being appreciated for your hard work. Now, for clarification, you get the Ten of Coins, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So, this, this is definitely a no. You've got challenges and tests with the Knight of swords you've got the clarification on that though is financial stability so on your path to financial stability there will be challenges and tests but you are on the path to financial stability now you've got fast moving situations and spirit guide messages that are trying to bring you out of this depressing energy where you're looking at what is lost as opposed to what is still there and then you've got some fighting with the five of wands for your recognition so there is there is a really positive upside to this particular reading in that you will be recognized for your hard work and you are stepping into your financial abundance and you have your spirit guides bringing you in messages. It's just that whatever you ask tarot is in fact a no. All right, let's take a look at the spirit guides. You're being told to possess self-confidence and set your intentions. Absolutely, set those intentions to manifest exactly what you want. Now, the angels are pouring out their compassion for you and they're telling you to check your emotions. So make sure your emotions are not getting revved up in this, especially this five of cups right here. You know, don't focus on the loss. Focus on what you have, gratitude. Now, it's time to release your negativity, absolutely. And a new romantic cycle begins. So some of you are starting a new cycle. And finally, you get sovereignty out of Queen of the Moon. So you have this sovereignty. You can manifest whatever it is you want in your life. So focus on the positive. Draw in the positive. Realize that you are on the right financial path and stay there. You know, know that you're going to be appreciated. Set those intentions for your manifestation. Keep your emotions in check. And know that you have the capability of manifesting whatever it is you want in this incarnation. All right, so while you did get a no, you got beautiful encouragement from the angels and you are strong enough to manifest whatever you want, so set those intentions. All right, that's all I have for pile number six today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader 
Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number seven with this Iolite. You're being told to shift your money mindset. So some of you have a mindset of lack. You need to switch it over to a mindset of abundance. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. You start with the moon. Oof. And then the three of cups. And the knight of cups. All right, let's look at clarification. Ooh, victory, victory with the six of wands. A dream come true with the nine of cups and the chariot. So things are moving quickly. This is a beautiful yes. Your moon card kind of signifies fear around decisions, but you have beautiful celebrations coming, and this looks like a romantic proposal for some of you. So some of you are getting proposed to, you know, the question, you know, will you marry me is in your future. So that is fantastic. Now this, you're going to have victory over where you fear decisions. So some of you are in a relationship right now, and you have a serious fear of commitment. But it's okay. You're going to get there. It's going to be all right. It's going to be a dream come true and things are going to move quickly and you're going to get through it all. So you got a beautiful yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. For those of you that are getting engaged, congratulations. Celebrations could even be somebody's birthday, um, you know, this month, this week, today, uh, whatever it is, you know, happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating birthdays. There's lots of celebrations in this reading. So you know, celebrate, celebrate. You've got a dream come true coming in. Victory with this six of wands. So it all looks very beautiful. Now you're being reminded to have an attitude of gratitude. With all of this beauty, you need to remember that gratitude. And you are never alone. You've got your spirit guides and angels with you all the time. So, you know, tell them thank you for all of the wonderful things that are being brought in for you. Now you're also being asked to speak with the universal heart and to be free. Enjoy this beauty. You know, you are here to experience pleasure and love and happiness. So enjoy all of this. Now, you get your dreams need a practical plan. So while you're going to have victory, you still need practical plans. That's just life. And work through your fears. Yeah, those of you that have fear of commitment with this uh, romantic proposal, work through those fears because this is a dream come true for you. And finally, you get hunger. I think you guys hunger for whatever it is you're being given. And it's, you know, it's coming to fruition for you. So that's all I have for pile number seven. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in a private reading, you can email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you all the info. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.